Good morning. What's up you guys? Good morning. I guess whatever time it is for you right now. Um, I'm sitting down. I'm going to do a really crazy look that I'm very excited for. So I hope you guys are ready. Got my mirror, got my big ass water, and we're just jumping in. Um, let me know how you like this background. I think that it looks a little bit more clean and clear for doing some of these big creative looks. Um, yeah, so let's just jump in and see what happens today. Um, it's basically a melting face look. So this is the image that I'm gonna be kind of working off of. Um, the Instagram account that I saw this on was Lola Von Esche. I'm jumping into that look. I did something similar for my 31 days of Halloween earlier this year. I guess last year in October, um, but I didn't really like how it turned out. So I wanna do a more blingy, some crazy accessories and just a full face drip. Um, we're gonna be going pink today instead of purple like I did before. So I'm gonna be using these waterproof cream colors from Danessa Myricks. I think I'm gonna go in with these pink ones first. I think light pink first, and then I'll do some shaping with the darker pink. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is go in with my color. And I'm taking a spatula and a palette here because I'm going to be mixing all my colors there. So I'm just gonna take a few little scrapes of that color and I'm gonna go ahead and set this down on my palette. First things first, I'm gonna dip in. This is just an angled foundation brush. This one's from Zoeva. And I'm gonna start by just stamping this all over the face. And this is a waterproof cream color, so I like these because they do dry down nicely. They're a little hard to remove sometimes, but I know that it's not gonna go anywhere and it's not gonna transfer onto my clothes like regular cream paints do. Okay, so now that we're looking nice and crazy, I'm going in with just a little bit of loose um, translucent powder. So this is the Laura Mercier one, and I'm just taking that on a big fluffy brush. And I'm being fairly generous with this because I really want this cream to set in place and not move as we draw on top of it. So adding a generous amount all over the face and head. Okay, so now that we are officially looking crazy, we've powdered the face, I'm gonna go in with some shadows to contour. So this is a Suva Beauty um, custom little palette that I made ages ago. And I'm gonna take this bright pink, it's kind of a purpley pink, and I'm just gonna take that on a fluffy little contour brush and I'm gonna go in where my cheeks are and start to kind of give some definition to the face. Add a little uh, depth. So I'm just kind of shading where normally I would put contour and a little bit of blush. Just kind of adding some dimension to our crazy pink face here. I'm gonna take some of that under the chin and really sculpt this jawline. All right, so we've added a bit of sculpting. I've just um, contoured the nose as well as the cheeks and a little bit around the chin um, with this palette. I'm going in now with some highlight. This is Cookie from Benefit. This is such a bright blinding highlight. I'm just taking a little brush and I'm adding this to the high points of the face. Definitely want this to be um, a bit more dramatic since again, the entire look is dramatic. So just adding a lot of highlight to kind of bring attention to those areas. I'm gonna be doing a really intense lip. So this is going to highlight that prominent lip area. And I'm just going to add this to the cheekbones as well. Kind of all the normal things you would do with an actual normal makeup application, but just exaggerated for sure. This highlight is so intense. Okay, so for eyebrows, I think I'm gonna go in and draw some pretty extreme high up eyebrows and I'm definitely gonna make them darker than I normally would because this is such an exaggerated look. So let's slap those on really quick and I'll be right back. Shout out Babe Holland for bringing us coffee. 
Okay, so now I'm just taking my ABH eyeshadow primer. I'm taking a little bit of that on the back of my hand with a big flat brush and I'm just packing that on top of the lid and way up above the crease. We're gonna make a bit of a cut crease situation on the eyes and then we're actually gonna leave the whole eye area white so that when I close my eyes, it looks like I have white contacts in. So that's the vibe we're going for. <laughs> so now we're gonna go in with a more precise brush. This is just a small little Morphe um, M507 brush and I'm dipping into that same pink color that we used to contour and I'm just gonna put this right up above where we mapped out with that eyeshadow primer. So I'm just creating like a little cut crease here with that shadow, just going above that line. Okay, so now I just drew some eye bags underneath and I'm just filling them in with that same pink color that we used to contour. This brush is really great too for packing that color on and just like pressing it into the skin. Um, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. I've had this since like makeup school forever ago. So again, doing the same on this side. Cool. So the whole goal with this is to just create like droopy eye vibes. I'm also bringing more of that color up above and just defining that little cut crease a little bit more. I jump around a lot in looks, like moving from the cheeks to the eyes to the cheeks again, touching up brows. I'm all over the place, so just bear with me. Okay, I am wearing a shirt. I'm just folding it over because um, I'm definitely gonna paint this down my body a little bit. But I'm first going in with some black body paint. So this is from Snazaroo, this is just black. Um, I like this because it's super nice and matte. I'm just gonna take a little spray bottle with some water and give one little spritz on that paint. And then I'm gonna go in with a more precise little liner brush. So just anything really small. This is actually a paintbrush from the store. I don't know. I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna start doing some pop art vibes. I'm gonna start, I think, with the nose and give myself a little line here. I think I'm gonna add some of this black paint to my brows. Okay, so the eye bags are on. We're looking a bit more cartoony. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is add a bit more paint here. So I'm actually gonna go in with this guy. This is just that same Danessa Myricks palette. And I'm gonna take this deeper kind of purple shade. And these are creams, remember? So I'm just gonna pat that. Oh yeah, that's better. I just want a little bit deeper. So I'm just patting that underneath the eyes. I'm even adding a little bit of that pigment just below the nose to kind of contour that shape a little bit and give me more of a petite little cute nose. <laughs> a little cuter than my natural one. Okay, so quickly just gonna finish off the rest of the body. So I have my same pink paint here and I'm just gonna take this all the way down the neck. This is definitely gonna make me break out. Okay, yeah, so I'm switching to my Mayron palette. I have a little bit of pink left here. These are just water activated paints too, so I'm just gonna do that and we'll see what happens. So I'm just taking my Face Atelier um, 88 brush. This is a big, a big fluffy foundation brush. And I'm just packing that pink in here. Yeah, that'll work totally fine. This is just gonna be so much easier to remove at the end of the day. All right, so we're looking drippy now. I'm just gonna take a little uh, makeup remover. I guess brush cleaner really doesn't matter. Um, so this is brush cleaner, spraying a little Q-tip and then I'm just going to remove this area here so it looks like this drip is dripping over my eyebrow actually. Yeah, so this just, again, creates a bit more dimension and it's gonna help me create the realistic looking drips. So now I'm gonna fill that in with some pink 
to match everything and we'll go from there. Cool, so a bit more drippy now over the eyebrow. I think that adds some nice dimension so you can see that it's really like dripping over some, something. Um, I'm just gonna do one eyebrow I think for now. I'm just gonna pat a bit of powder over top of that. Okay, so we're looking pretty drippy now. I'm just gonna go in and add some white like I'm doing here. Um, I'm just adding a bit more dimension and depth so I'm taking a little white eyeshadow and I'm just going in to the bottom of each drip and pressing that in so it adds a little bit of a highlight onto these different drips. Okay, so I'm definitely noticing a bit of creasing around my neck area when I'm looking down working. Um, everything's kind of blending. So I'm just taking a bit of that loose powder that I used before and I'm just gonna set this whole area so that it doesn't move around so much. I'm also gonna add this to my cheeks, which always get oily, as well as my little forehead. You can just tell it's actually melting. <laughs> okay, so we just cut the crease for the eyes and I'm just using my visor palette to take that white eyeshadow and kind of tap that over top of the white paint I used to cut the crease. And that's a really good start for these eyes. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is actually outline that shape in black. So I'm just taking a black gel liner. This is from Inglot. And what I'm gonna do is actually just go along those eyes and almost give them like a pop art shape. So I'm just gonna take my little beauty sponge so I can support my hand here. And I'm bringing my mirror nice and close. And I'm just gonna outline the shape. So the whole goal with this is when my eyes are closed, it'll look like my eyes are rolled back up into my head. And I just wanna draw these across, making it look like I have eye bags, so I'm giving some wiggly lines here. Maybe I'm taking off most of the paint on the back of my hand so my brush barely has any product on it, so it's not super pigmented black. And I'm just going to draw some wavy lines. Okay, so I'm just adding um, Jeffree Star Blue Velvet. This is just going to make my lips pop a little bit and give a cool contrast from dark lips to a light base. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add some accessories, maybe a leopard print little bandana and some glasses, and we are done. So stay tuned, let's pop these on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've added my little scarf here. I'm gonna put on this bright orange jacket just for a cool little contrast. And I have these sassy glasses, and this is the look. I hope you guys really enjoyed following along for this little tutorial. It came out super fun. I wish I could look this weird all the time, honestly. Um, I hope you all are seeing really well and safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!